Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, finally back from PAX here on the 14th of April. My internet is down and my apartment is 59.9 degrees. So, just setting the stage for you there. Apparently I was stupid enough to leave my windows open while I was off at PAX. Because, you know, the spring weather finally moved in. It was like 60 degrees outside every day. And so here I was thinking, you know... The weather's gonna be just fine. I'll just leave the windows open, let the fresh air permeate through my apartment, and then when I get back from PAX, everything will be beautiful. Well, silly me. So, so I came home. So I actually came home and in the airport, and there was like snow just everywhere. So I, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but damn it. Do I even need to ask? I say it's you, dear boy. It feels like an absolute age since our jaunt on that delightful Fetty Island. What? You have impeccable timing, you know. Oh, do we? Ten Gilder says he's lost his flipping diary again. <laughs> but how? Looks like I won a little bit, don't it, Ollie boy? Careless so and so. I am most dreadfully ashamed. There I was, merrily poodling along. You were poodling, alright. Uh-huh. Oh my god. So we're up to five merit stamps for this now. Because apparently that's how important this thing is starting to become. Well, I guess we can help you find it again, mister. You will? Oh, I say that is really awfully good of you. Hold on, Mon. If you were just being chased by monsters, you could have dropped it just about flipping anywhere. Well, I think I can enlighten you as to my general locale at the time of the incident. It had happened upon the most intriguing little mine. Mine? Popping in for a quick poke around, and that's when the beast arrives. So you guys surrounded by monsters? Yeah, that's about the size of it. As if I were hazard to guess, I'd say the diary is on the railway tracks near the mine's entrance. Well, gee. That actually narrows it down quite a bit, you know? So I guess as long as we're here... So here's the, the interesting thing, what you can do with this travel spell. So you might say, well, you're already in Hamlin, why would you use travel to go to Hamlin again? Well, what this is going to do, actually, is warp us outside of the town, so we don't have to walk all the way out of the town anymore. A fancy little bit of uh, trickery there, if I do say so myself. It's not there. It's got to be around here somewheres. One of these cave entrances. Nope. I think I know which one it is, though. It's gotta be that one down on the... That one that went into the... Yeah. Hmm. It's like the one that was... How do I even describe it? Um, to Well, first let me just find it, and then maybe I can describe it. How did I actually get there? It's so strange, because now we're back in the present again. Even though things are basically, like, identical to the way they were. Like, I was thinking down there, but... We can't really get to that, can we? But wasn't there a path that went... Oh, there it is, over there, yeah. How much do you want to bet this is it right here? Yep, this is it. Look, Mr. Trippy, it's that gentleman's diary. What the heck was he thinking hanging about on these tracks by here? Sure is lucky we found it, huh? Come on, let's go give it back. Well, I can't think of a shittier way to start an episode, but there you go. No, I didn't want to go to Alma Moon. Oh, somebody did mention something. In the comments, and I don't know if I... Uh, know how to get this one or not, but there's a green treasure chest. Right down there. See it? It's right there. But I think I have to be down there to get it. At least I'm pretty sure. So let me actually try this warp here and see where this takes me. And then maybe we can try picking that up. Travel to Hamlin's Main Street. I will be glad to do that. There he is, the freaking ass hat. 
Got your stupid diary back. But if I ever hear you say you've lost your bally dot Something. <laughs> you have my word as a gentleman that I shall never misplace this diary again. Now please take this. Set of gaudy claws, huh? And that's a lot of merit stamps for a diary, I'll tell you what. You don't even know. So we were just looking from up there, right? So can we see the chest from here? That is the question. Mm, I don't know. Can we see the... It should be right up there somewhere. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. Just barely. The question is where you stand to actually shoot it, though. Whoa, 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 that was it. That was it right there. Holy crap, I just walked right over it. Hang on, right there. Hang on, where are you? Man, a clockwork cleaver, really? Let's check some of this shit out, man. Holy crap. Soldier sword. That is not bad. It's better than what we had before, so... <laughs> then what was the other thing I picked up? Um... Gaudy claws, but I think I already had. Oh, maybe I didn't. Definitely ups his accuracy quite a bit. So hell yeah to that. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to tell you. Alright, so as you can see, there are other things we can do here. Let me actually run by this guy and see what he wants. I might be able to help him now, but I'm not sure. What's the matter, sir? To put my every waking hour to inventing new machines. There are limits to what man can, one man can achieve, and I simply cannot trust my feckless assistants. You can't do it all on your own, sir. You need other people to help you. If only I could afford that luxury. If I were to leave my assistants to their own devices, they would steal my data and sell it to the highest bidder. Oh. Ah, oh, well, it's his belief, all right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have more of that on hand. We kind of just found out about it, to be honest. <laughs> but once again, you can look on the map and see pretty much everywhere. Every person that needs help now is pretty much right there. Pointed out to you. So let me actually run through. I'm going to run through in here and see what this person up here at the top of the stairs has. Because if it turns out to be belief... Then we're just going to grab that and go. I had other plans for this episode, actually. Found myself in my wife's bad books, I'm afraid. She lost her temper and threw me out of the house. Jeepers, that's no good. What made her lose her temper? Well, for years, we've always celebrated our wedding anniversary together, just the two of us. But this year, I had to work, and she didn't like that one little bit. So here I am, out on the street. Trouble in paradise, seems like. Well, it's nothing serious. It'll all blow over. She's a bit sad about spending our anniversary apart, but I don't think she's really angry. She's a wonderful wife, even if she sometimes has trouble expressing her feelings. Huh. Yup. This guy's got the belief. So? What a wonderful thing, though, in a marriage to be able to trust someone that much to know... You know, that even through the rough times, you're gonna make it. I don't know. That's one of those things that I think, you know, when I was younger, I really didn't get. And in some ways, I still don't. When, it, Like in the Savage Garden song, when he says, I believe that trust is more important than monogamy. It's like, I never really understood that. Like, it, it would seem like not doing the crime in the first place would be more important then just being able to trust someone not to do it. But then it's like... Because, I mean, you can trust somebody all you want. That's great. But the simple fact is that human beings are fallible creatures. And so, I mean, trust is nice, but it's irrelevant. It's like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I just don't know. Because we used to, I mean, when I was in school in Holy Cross Lutheran Church, I went to a Christian school when I was younger, I don't know if you knew that. 
Some of you guys might have known that, I don't know. But um, we used to do trust falls. And I never could do it. Like, I basically, you would stand there and you'd fall backwards and someone would catch you. Just as an experiment to see if you could trust the person to do it. And I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't let myself fall. I couldn't trust anybody. I couldn't even trust my dad. I've just never... And the thing is, nowadays, I think I would be able to do it. I think I would be able to trust somebody. But when I was a kid, I'm telling you, I didn't trust anybody. What's the matter with me? My nervous totally failed me. Oh, wait, did we... Oh, okay, that's right. This is the guy that couldn't propose. And he wanted courage, but he didn't have any. So there's one more green person up here on the way. I'm not sure it's probably quicker just to walk there. It's not what I planned to do with this episode, but, well, it's apparently what we're doing now. Just taking care of some people's broken haughtedness, that's all. I mean, if it enables us to get that next upgrade to where monsters drop items more frequently, then by all means it's definitely worth it to do it. So let's go ahead and see what this person's got. Developing new technology is far from easy, but it's deeply rewarding. Gee, sure sounds like you love what you do. What are you working on right now? Well, my you ask, I'm afraid I cannot work at present. Why not? It's my chief engineer. He came to the laboratory the other day and told us he decided to abandon his research for good. But what would make him do something like that? I have not the faintest idea, but I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. He was always a man of vision, and that can't change overnight. Someday he will dust off his lab coat and return to his research. So he has a lot of belief in his boss. It's more belief, why not, right? <laughs> We just got rid of that last belief. So, and now we're going to take in some more. Yeah, and half of the reason I'm recording right now is because my internet is down. You know, and the same exact thing happened when I came home from Columbus. So I came home and I'd forgotten to turn my heater on in the apartment. It was, like, super cold when I got back. And my internet was down. So once I got the apartment warmed back up, then it was fine. Then it came back up. But it's weird, I mean, you wouldn't think the temperature would be able to affect whether or not a machine can operate. Because machines don't have feelings and all that stuff, but... <laughs> I suppose to some extent maybe they do, I don't know. Oh, you and the cape, just where in the world do you come from? Me, sir? Well, where do I come Where do you come from, asshat? Can't give me a straight answer, huh? I've got it, you're a spy, aren't you? Spy? No, sir, that's not it at all. It's quite enough of your back, chat. I know a spy when I smell one. You know, in the bathroom! You're another one, aren't you? I've uncovered a whole spy ring. You're accusing the Lord High Lord of the Fairies of being a spy, Hottie. Would you come help out here, missus? Can you help out, miss? You're standing in the way of our conversation. You're obviously interested. Can you help me out? Please? Why are you just standing there in front of the camera? Do you want me to be looking at your ass? Do you want me to check out your ass? Because we can do that. I can hide behind the plants and I can hide behind your ass. So, um... Yeah, let's get this belief back. I'm not sure what happened here. Apparently I was just being accused of being a spy. And I was trying to get the guard his belief back when this lady walked in front of the camera and decided she wanted to show off her ass. So, I guess we get the pleasure of looking at this lady's ass. Boy, and I thought Final Fantasy X was bad. Alright, so he figured it out. He apologized. He's apologized. <laughs> Alright, got ourselves another stamp card going here. So we're almost done with everything. There's one more guy. Isn't that the guy that wanted to think for his sister? Did we just never get back to him? Or does he need something else? Because I know we got the booster, or the thing, the Kara cake thing. But maybe I never took the thing back to him. Because if I didn't, I've kept him waiting all this time, and that's, uh, that's not good at all. This wasn't very nice of me at all. Oops, yeah, we can see that. 
see no end to my trials, just when I finally prepared the medicine. What's the matter, sir? I'm afraid things are looking rather bleak. With your assistance, I finally managed to prepare the medicine for my poor, ailing sister. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you could just use the postal service. You've considered swimming all the way there? Are you crazy? In those clothes, you'd drown in a second. Why don't you just hold on to me and I'll cast a travel spell. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, they don't stand a chance against Drippy, alright. We just stand there and let Drippy do all the work. I don't care. Okay, so four ships outside of Castaway Cove. Now that we've taken on this quest, if you go there, you will see them. So basically, it's kind of like a hunting side quest. Speaking of hunts, we could probably stand to check and see if there's any more available. Because I imagine there would be. There's the ass lady again. Just can't get enough. Do a full 360 there. So, we got the belief. We got... We got those two belief side quests out of the way. We got the diarrhea dude. That guy needs courage. That guy needs us to destroy the four pirate ships. Let me see just what kind of hunts have been unlocked. Because I imagine there's probably quite a few now. I have no bounties to claim. Yeah, see, there's four more. Giant gaseous monster is producing an odor that is simply unbearable. Something must be done. Causing a stink, huh? Alright. <laughs> That's just right up my alley. It's right up my stall. Halfway up Old Smokey, yet another monster is trying to get Old Smokey to blow its top. So it's another opera singing... Pfft, something, I don't know. Shell on Earth! The huge turtle has made Skull Mountain its home. Skull Mountain? I don't believe we've heard of that place yet. Just so happens that's where we're headed, though, so... At least once we get around to the story. And then this one is a pesky sea creature. Keeps splashing merchants' ship merchants' ships. The water is ruining their cargoes. What an ass hat! Just splashing water all over people's ships. You can't just do that. You can't just do that. Just go around splashing water on people's ships. What kind of a dumbass are you? Because you might think to yourself, well, what if I left my ship it's over by, you know? Hamelin, and then I warp to Castaway Cove. What happens to my ship? It just so happens your ship warps with you. So hell yeah to that. <laughs> I must say, that's a very, very useful little tick. So where are those pirates at, anyhow? He said they were kind of on the path between Castaway Cove and Hamelin. So they gotta be, like, somewhere along here, along the sea. And believe me, you'll know them when you see them. <coughs> There's one. Look at those little bitches. Bomb an E-luck man, just went down like little bitches. Get you from behind. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, sir. Zomboat Swain. Let's go! Zomboat Swain. I have no idea. Oh, this shit. It's so freaking fast. Eventually, I'm gonna have to evolve him, and I don't want to do it either. <laughs> so I want to shoot him back to level one. Almost got him. Maybe we can grab this thing over here. Even though apparently I didn't need it. You guys having trouble over here? <laughs> Let me take care of this. Oh, is he gonna have enough to do it? Yeah! Oh man, just barely enough. What can I, say? I was like literally down to my last pixel of... Oh, stamina there. I think I would've lasted much longer. You 
driven away a pirate ship. Three per three ships remain. There's also monsters out here up the wazoo. Gotcha! <laughs> Sooner or later you have to surrender. Okay, we have a Captain Zombo with these guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. Actually, here, here, hang on a second. No. Do my little war cry slash. War cry slash couples. Let's get a little preliminary damage going here. That's nice. That's very nice. Now I actually kind of wonder. Yeah, poison. I'll take that. I don't know how widespread the. Oh shit! Okay, all right, that was, yeah, that was pretty good. Leave it to me. Yeah, uh, how about how about we get some provisions going here? Thanks for them bring my ass back. Not sure what happened there. Okay, let's um. Let throw the banana out. I'm gonna get back to Oliver here. I'll do my best. Oops, no, no, definitely a sandwich. Good, uh, good going. Wait, was, did I see it? No, I thought I saw a gold glint for a second there. I was like, oh boy. Let's gonna get rid of that captain as soon as I can here. There we go. Just gonna keep him distracted a little bit so he doesn't kill anybody else. Because otherwise, he's gonna be going after them. Because I think I want them dying on me. There. Once you got rid of him, I think the rest is pretty much a cakewalk. Those magic limbs whenever you can. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. There's only a couple left now. He's getting tired. Man, that sunset looks so surreal. I mean, it's, it looks so real that like you wouldn't even want to try to take a photograph in it. Because you're afraid the lighting just wouldn't come out right. You know how that is. It's one thing we definitely figured out at PAX this year. Which usually that's something I always forget about. Since when you're taking a picture of somebody, you usually want to do it like in front of a window. But it's actually better if you're facing towards the window to get your picture taken. Just for the simple fact, you know, that the that if the camera's facing towards the window. And you know then you can't see the people in the picture because they're just coming as silhouettes. Here's the other nice thing about travel. You can use it from the ship. And as usual, the ship will come with you to wherever you go. We gave them pirates what for, just like we said we would. You did? Why, that is an extraordinary feat. Yeah, look at your feet. I wish you could have been there to see me in action. I gave them a left, then a right, then another left. Hundreds of them there were, no thousands! But they were no match for a fairy's fury. Oh my god. Yeah, you were just watching. You tell that asshole. Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Inexpressibly grateful indeed. Wow, a pirate's cutlass? You couldn't have given that to us a second ago? Maybe we could have scared him off with their own weapon. Or we could have passed as one of them and told them to just go away, I don't know. Man, six merit stamps, that's a lot of stamps. Wait, let me make sure that this didn't... Well, that doesn't want to respawn, does it? Oh, whatever. Ah, so back in the main room we are. And next time on Nino Kuni? <laughs> yes, I came all the way back here just for the plans. What can I say, man? I'm obsessed. See you guys next time.